Hi everyone, my name is Rushab and today we are going to see a quick tip on how to highlight weekends using conditional formatting in Excel. Let's say we have a list of dates. Using equal to text formula, let's first find out which day is each date. So I'll put the formula equal to text, take the date, comma, d d d t close the bracket, enter. So now I know that 18th May is a Monday. To learn the equal to text formula in detail, click on this link below. Let's drag this formula down. Now also let's find out the day number using weekday. Equal to weekday. I'll take the date, comma, return type. I'll take two here. Let's understand this. Equal to weekday has two parameters. In the first, put the date, then comma, return type. Return type can be of multiple options. The one that we are going to use is comma two, marked in red. So what does comma two do? If your date is a Monday, comma 2 will give you as the output 1. So 1 for Monday, 2 for Tuesday, 3 for Wednesday and so on. So there are multiple return type options. For 3 you will get Monday as 0, 6 as Sunday and so on. So now we know what comma 2 means and we've got Monday as 1. Let's drag this down too. Now these two things equal to text and equal to weekday we have done here only for a better understanding of this example. You don't really need to make these as separate columns. Now let's start putting in the conditional formatting. So select the entire date column but without the header. Never choose the header using conditional formatting. Go to home tab, conditional formatting and click on new rule. In this, go to the last option, use a formula. Here, let's enter our weekday formula. Open the bracket, write this dollar $A2. Why A2? That's the cell from where our dates are starting. Comma 2 for our return type. Close the bracket, more than 5. Why more than 5? If you observe, then all the weekends are falling on day numbers 6 and 7. So when we say equal to weekday more than 5, we are indicating 6 and 7 that is Saturday and Sundays. Let's give it a formatting. Let's say fill with orange color. OK and OK. So now we can easily see that the Saturday and Sundays are automatically highlighted in orange. Let's see a practical example where you can use this. Let's say you're planning a trip from Mumbai to the USA. You have a fixed itinerary. That is, you start from Mumbai to New York, go on to Chicago, to San Francisco, and back to Mumbai. Your number of days in each location are fixed, but you want to make sure that your internal traveling or traveling from Mumbai to US does not happen on a weekend owing to the high ticket prices. So these particular four dates are the ones that you don't want to fall it on a weekend. Currently you will see that Chicago to San Francisco you are flying on a weekend and San Francisco to Mumbai also you are flying on a weekend. You want to avoid this. So let the start date of your trip be let's say 19th May instead of 18th May. Automatically, I have adjusted the dates. Now you can still see that New York to Chicago and San Francisco to Mumbai, you're still flying on weekends. Not good. Let's start our trip on 20th May. Still, you have one weekend falling in. Let's try 21st May. Brilliant. Now you immediately know that all these four dates are not falling on any weekend. You can plan your trip better. Thank you.